Hello, this is Mighty Owl. The zoo has all sorts of incredible animals to see. Lions, tigers, bears, you name it. It also has all sorts of incredible ways to practice solving some math problems. Let's visit these animals and do some math together. Here's a sloth enclosure. So furry and slow. There are only 273 sloths in the wild. Scientists hope to increase the population by 22 sloths this year. How many sloths will there be altogether? This is an addition problem, so we can add 273 and 22. I know, these are big numbers, but when we add bigger numbers, like numbers with hundreds, we start the exact same way as smaller numbers. We just line them up and take it one place at a time. So don't worry. If you can add 3 plus 2, then you can add 300 plus 200. We'll do it together. Whenever we are adding, we need to make sure to align the numbers correctly so that we add the hundreds with hundreds, tens with tens, and ones with ones. Now the hundreds, tens, and ones places are each aligned. For example, you can see that the 3 and the 2 are aligned in the ones place. Just like when adding two digit numbers, you should always start with the ones place. 3 plus 2 is 5. Write 5 in the ones place of your answer. Move to the tens place. Add 7 and 2. 7 plus 2 is 9, so put a 9 in the tens place. Look at the hundreds place. Here, there is only a 2 in the hundreds place. You don't need to add, just put the 2 in the hundreds place of your answer. 273 plus 22 is 295. Scientists are hoping to have 295 sloths in the wild by next year. Great work. Ah, look at that. Tiger cubs. This one is a year old, but already weighs 192 pounds. In the next year, the tiger cub is expected to gain an additional 147 pounds. How much will the tiger cub weigh a year from now? We need to find out how much the tiger cub weighs after gaining weight, so we can add. Write the equation here. Now, the hundreds, tens, and ones places are each aligned. For example, the 9 and the 4 are aligned in the tens place. Let's also use our base 10 blocks here. It can help you see what is happening when we add. Here is 192 in base 10 blocks, 100 plate, 9 10 sticks, and 2 unit cubes. Here is 147 in base 10 blocks, 100 plate, 4 10 sticks, and 7 unit cubes. As always, start with the 1s. 2 plus 7 is 9, so our answer is 9 in the 1s place. Next up are the 10s. 9 plus 4. There are 13 10 sticks, but we can't put a two-digit number in the tens place, so we will need to regroup. In addition, when you regroup tens, you take the 10 10 sticks and exchange them for 100 plate. That's because 10 tens equal 100. The number that the blocks represent hasn't changed since 10 10 sticks is the same as 100 plate. And we are still left with three 10 sticks. So put a 3 in the tens place of our answer. Finally, count up the hundred plates. There are three hundred plates. One from the first number, one from the second number, and one from the tens we regrouped. So, we have a 3 in the hundreds place. 192 plus 147 equals 339. So, the tiger cub will be 339 pounds. Great work! We are going to continue working with the place value chart, but if you need help, you can always think about how 10 10 sticks combine to make a 100 plate. Whoa, this section has black and brown bears. For one week, the zoo orders 295 pounds of food for the black bears and 620 pounds of food for the brown bears. That's a lot of food. We can add to find out how much food they order for the bears altogether. First, you can write the equation. For 295, there is a 2 in the hundreds place, a 9 in the tens place, and a 5 in the ones place. 
For 620, there is a 6 in the hundreds place, a 2 in the tens place, and our friend Zero the Hero has returned to be in the ones place. That means that 620 has no ones. Now we can add, starting with the ones. 5 plus 0 is still 5, so put a 5 in the ones place. In the tens place, we are adding 9 and 2. This equals 11. 11 tens is too big to put in the tens place by itself. We need to regroup by taking 10 of those tens and turning them into 100. We can put that extra 1 on top of the hundreds column like this. So, we had 11 tens and regrouped 10 of them. That leaves us with 110. Put a 1 in the tens place. Add the hundreds place. There's the 2 and the 6 plus the 1 from regrouping. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, put a 9 in the hundreds place. And voila! 295 plus 620 is 915. The zoo orders 915 pounds of bear food every week. I don't think I could eat that much in a year. You did a great job today. You added three digit numbers using base 10 blocks and place value charts. You also learned to regroup tens into hundreds. I think there are some mighty subtraction problems hanging out around here. Let's find out in our next video.